A couple years ago, I noticed that I was very tired all the time. And I just thought, oh, I'm, you know, I'm getting a little older and months passed and I noticed my eyes turned yellow. And I kind of knew that was a sign of liver damage. Eventually, it got to the point where there were some symptoms I just couldn't ignore and I, I looked unhealthy and I felt terribly unhealthy. While I was in the ER, the doctor came in and told me that the only way I was gonna get better is with the transplant. My perception of the hospital had always been a negative one. When I was 12, my mom got cancer. So we were in here a lot and uh, she ended up not making it. So I always associated hospitals with death and sadness. But when I got here, I was immediately made to feel comfortable and it, I finally felt like, okay, I'm on my path to freedom here. I'm not gonna be burdened by this uh, illness anymore. So it was just a weight off my shoulders. I realized hospitals are places where people get better. People actually do get better here. After I was discharged, um, running errands around town or whatever, I would look at the hospital and I got like these butterflies in my stomach and you know, like little goosebumps. I'm like, you know what? I, I want to be back there. You know, I don't want to be sick, but I kind of want to be back there. So after a few more stays and then after my liver transplant, I uh, decided to go to school to become a phlebotomist so I could work here in the hospital. This hospital is pretty special. I've unfortunately been to many in the past couple years. This place is beautiful and the people here are so nice. It's home, you know? My family's here, and I, I, I think it's great that a small town like this, a small, you know, rural area like this, can have such a great hospital.